The U.S.'s current debt limit sits just under $16.7 trillion. We're now hearing that Democrats want to break the forced budget cuts in the absence of any kind of budget deal. If Obamacare was the law of the land and couldn't be tinkered with, why is it that the sequester, which is just as much the law of the land, yeah. can be tinkered with? The administration has requested a trillion dollar increase in the debt ceiling. We need some structural changes. What we're trying to do is get on a sustainable fiscal path. You can't spend more than you take in. You've got to deal with the underlying problem, which is the spending. Talks between Democrats and Republicans are now focused around spending. We do have to rein in spending. We've got to get the spending under control. We need to add more controls and restraint to government spending, and this is precisely the time to do it. Focus on those reforms that we all know as a country we need to have in place to make our nation stronger. And not make new obligations if we can't pay for the ones that we have today. And we have an opportunity here to, to put in place some spending reforms, to grow the economy at a faster rate, which will help us deal with the deficits and the debts that we're running right now. We need a growth-oriented, lean government. We all share the same goal. We want a prosperous America. A nation of movers, thinkers, innovators, and entrepreneurs should not be caught in neutral. During a press conference yesterday, President Obama said that Congress needs to raise the debt ceiling because there aren't any other, quote, rabbits in our hat. <laughs> Plus, they're still tired from their last trick where they made thousands of jobs disappear. Uh, so.